Um, this morning you made a reference to giraffe mourning and that there's a different way of saying you're sorry to someone and I wanted to hear what that was. Okay, let's real quick look at what I mean by giraffe mourning. Think of something you did that you wished you hadn't done. <laughs> and identify, recall as best you can how you talked to yourself when you said it or did it, whatever you did. So, what did you do that you wished you hadn't done after you had done it? And give me a sample of what you said to yourself when you did it. Do you have one in mind? Okay. That um, I was feeling defensive and I criticized someone. So, uh, what you did is you said some things to another person that you wished you hadn't done. Right. Okay, and what did you say to yourself when you did that? Well, usually in the moment I feel, you know, defensive of myself. No, I want to concretely know, for this exercise, I need to know concretely what you say to yourself when you behave in a way you don't like. Hmm. This is very important to answer your question about giraffe mourning. It's very important to identify your inner, what your inner educator is saying to you. See this? All of us have an inner educator whose function it is to educate us when we are less than perfect. Hmm. Now, most of us made the mistake of sending our inner educator off to a brutal jackal academy for inner educators. And so, I'm it's important to be conscious of how our inner educator talks to us. So that's what I'm asking you. When you said what you did to your husband, what did your inner educator, how did your inner educator try to educate you? It said what to you about what you had done? In the moment or later? At the mo either one. Well, the point when I start to feel regret or sorry yeah. is later. Which so. at, at any point, what did you say to yourself about what you had done? Okay. I said, I'm a bad person. Now that's, that's enough, you see. <laughs> see, your inner educator tries to educate you through penitence, through making you hate yourself for what you've done. It uses language that implies there's such a thing as a bad person. All right. Now, if you apologize out of that energy, that's jackal. Any apology that comes out of thinking you did something wrong is not going to be good for you or the other person. Mm. You with me so far? Well, I know it feels bad. Uh, yeah, it feels <laughs> bad. And I really want you to feel bad in this situation, but I want you to feel a sweet bad. A sweet bad that will help you learn from this without hating yourself. When you have a thought in your head that you're a bad person, that's ugly bad. That's a punitive bad. That'll first of all make it hard to learn. And even if you do learn, it's out of self-hatred. So whatever changes you make are at great cost. Mm. So that's your inner educator. That was your inner educator speaking to you when it said you're a bad person. Now we've been learning today that all judgments are expressions of needs, right? So your inner educator means well. It really means well. It wants you to learn from this in a way that will serve life. It means well. It's just its language that sucks. Okay? okay? So we don't want to hear what the inner educator thinks about us. We want to hear the need that isn't getting met, that it's trying to call to our attention. So what need is your inner educator trying to bring to your attention that you didn't meet? by how you behaved. Uh, a need to be in relationship with the other person. A need, in what kind of relationship? A mutual understanding, yeah. respectful. Right. So it didn't meet your need for respecting and understanding the other person. Yeah. And how do you feel when that need isn't met. Guilty. 
then you still got the bad person image in mind. So yeah. If you still think you're a bad, if there's any thinking still going on, that guilt comes from the judgment. Well, I feel separate and isolated. But how do you feel? What emotion do you feel about not meeting your own needs for understanding and respecting? See, the guilt comes from that image of bad person. But what feeling comes from not meeting your need to respond to an, this person with respect and understanding? Sad. That's a sweet pain. See, that's giraffe mourning. So if you say to the person, you know, the way I talk to you, I feel really sad. It doesn't meet my need for respecting you and understanding you. Hmm. You see, there's no image in there that I'm a bad person. I'm sad. I didn't meet my own need for respecting and understanding you. Check with the other person what they'd rather hear whether they'd rather hear the giraffe mourning or the apology that you're a bad person. I'm getting the impression that apology isn't really the best service of being a giraffe. And I'd like to know if you could model, I'd like to see you model for me an acknowledgement of missing the mark, sinning I, courageously. If you, um, if you recall earlier, I showed an example of that where I showed the person saying, I feel sad, I would have liked to have responded with more understanding than I did. So you're not using the word, I'm sorry, you're saying I'm sad, you're it's telling It's not feelings. so much the word, I'm sorry, what we shifted from was thinking that I did something wrong, that it was bad. It's that thinking that is the problem. And the I'm sorry follows from that thinking. So it's not just that I don't say I'm sorry, I say I'm sad, if I'm sad. See, the word I'm sorry means almost nothing. Right, people, people can say that and not feel anything. It's this, the, you say that to buy forgiveness. It's, uh, it's, so if I'm feeling sad, I say that. I'm feeling sad, I would have liked to have been more aware of your needs, for example, where I didn't take the person's needs into consideration. But I don't say I'm sorry, that was inconsiderate of me. There's no self-blame. I didn't do anything wrong. There is no such thing as doing anything wrong. What I did was not in harmony with my needs. I want to mourn that. I'm sad. I would have liked to have been more aware of your needs. Something like that. Does that give you the example? Very much so. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question over yes. here to the, your left. 